This is code.org. What do we have here? Oh no, an image got messed up during transmission. Uh oh. The problem, a single extra bit was inserted into the stream of bits that make up the C of the code.org logo. <laughs> Okay, um, that extra bit bumps all the other bits down the line, which makes the logo look a mess. Hmm, maybe they should use a parity check or maybe a check sum, but that's beyond the scope of this course. Your task, hunt down the extra bit and remove it to fix the code.org logo. Hint, one bit early would make it look like many bits were out of order. That would make sense, right? So up here, notice it looks all right compared to the logo. So that means there's not, there's probably not an error way up here, as long as it's matching their logo. They had one, two, three, four black squares. Yes. So that's probably, the error is going to need to be after that. And, hmm, wait a minute. What's going on here? So it looks like this is okay. But right here, we should have a wall of three white squares. So if there was one extra added, if we need a wall of three right squares, one, two, three, one, two, three, looks like this guy here is out of place, okay? And then notice that this is even out of place, but if we get rid of one, everything should shift over. So white is represented by the number one in this uh, activity. So let's see, if I get rid of one, now I'm not gonna go through and shift all of these, because it will appear correctly. But notice that we could shift them all and you could see the letter C in the binary as well. So what that shows you though is one tiny little error in uh, binary and transmission ruins literally everything. So there's a lot of ways in uh, programs and professionally in computer science that they would use checksums or they would use ways to calculate the bits to double check that they were received correctly. But cool, that's a great little exercise. Let's keep going.